virtually every industry is trying to predict the future. And from my perspective, no one wants a crystal ball as much as the automobile industry. Toyota is at finding its footing in the EV industry thanks to a couple of poor decisions. Nevertheless, the company has managed to raise the competition bar to the sky, literally, with a new flying car that will destroy the entire EV industry. What magic flying cars Toyota come up with, and why is the whole industry going crazy about it, keep watching to find out. Flying cars are popular in sci-fi movies. Many movie buffs will remember the DeLorean from the Back to the Future trilogy. This is a modified sports car that can travel through time when it reaches 88 miles per hour. It also has a hover conversion that allows it to fly and land vertically. The DeLorean is one of the most recognizable flying cars in cinema history and has inspired many fans and inventors to create their own versions. And then there is also the spinner from Blade Runner and Blade Runner 2049. This is a police vehicle that can switch between driving and flying modes. It has a sleek design and a powerful engine that can reach high speeds and altitudes. The spinner is also equipped with various weapons and sensors to aid in hunting down replicants and artificial humans that are illegal on Earth. However, in the real world, smart engineers are working hard to make flying cars a reality. And one of the companies at the forefront of innovation in this space is Toyota. The Asian auto behemoth has made a strategic incursion into this niche sector of the aviation industry, bringing its long and illustrious history to bear. Now, the history of flying cars is a long and fascinating one, spanning more than a century of inventions and experiments. Yes, humans have been experimenting with cars that can fly for more than 100 years. Flying cars are vehicles that can operate both on the ground and in the air, combining the convenience of cars with the speed and freedom of planes. Here are some of the milestones and challenges in the history of flying cars. The first patent for a flying car was granted in 1841 to Samuel Henson and John Stringfellow, two British engineers who designed a steam-powered aerial carriage with wings and propellers. However, they never built or tested their invention, which was more like a plane than a car. However, the glory for the first attempt to build and fly a car goes to Glenn Curtis, an American aviation pioneer in 1917. He created the Autoplane, a three-winged vehicle with a rear propeller and wheels. The Autoplane could hop off the ground but not sustain flight. Curtis abandoned the project after World War I. The first certification for the flying car was given to Robert Fulton, an American inventor, decades later in 1950. He developed the Airphibian, a plane that could detach its wings and tail and become a car. The Airphibian could fly at least 120 miles per hour and drive at 50 miles per hour. Fulton made several successful flights and road trips with his vehicle but ultimately failed to find investors or buyers. The most popular flying car was designed by Moulton Taylor, an American engineer and pilot in 1949. He created the Aero Car a car that could tow its wings and propeller behind it like a trailer. The aero car could be converted from car to plane in less than 10 minutes. Taylor sold six aero cars to various customers, including actor Bob Cummings and pilot Ed Sweeney. The aero car was also featured in several movies and magazines. However, if you are talking about the most futuristic flying car, the award goes to John Frost, a Canadian engineer working for Avro Canada in the 1950s. He designed the Avro Car, a saucer-shaped vehicle that used jet engines to create a cushion of air for vertical takeoff and landing of VTOL. The Avro Car was intended to be a supersonic fighter bomber for the military, but it proved to be unstable and noisy. Sadly, the project was cancelled in 1961 after several test flights. More recently, though, several companies have taken another stab at building cars that can navigate the sky. There is the Terrafugia Transition, a two-seater car plane hybrid that can fold its wings and drive on roads. It has been in development since 2006 and might sell for around $400,000. And then there is the Pal-V Liberty, a three-wheeled car gyrocopter hybrid that can switch between driving and flying modes. It's been in development since 2008 and has received approval from the EASA and the FAA. It is expected to be available for sale for a whopping $600,000.
And one seemingly successful startup focusing on flying car tech is Joby Aviation, and it has been recording rapid progress thanks to its partnership with Toyota. Joby Aviation is a US-based company that's developing an electric vertical takeoff and landing or e-VTOL aircraft that intends to operate as an air taxi service. Joby Aviation is one of the leading players in the emerging advanced air mobility or AAM industry which aims to provide fast, clean and affordable transportation solutions for urban and regional areas. The founder of Joby Aviation is Joe Ben Bevert, an entrepreneur and inventor who has a knack for founding successful companies. He has founded several companies such as Joby Energy, Joby Motors and Joby Incorporated. Bevert started Joby Aviation as one of his passion projects on his ranch in the Santa Cruz Mountains. He was inspired by his vision of creating a safe, quiet and eco-friendly aircraft that could enable people to fly above traffic and reach their destinations faster. The research of Joby Aviation began with exploring different aspects of electric aviation such as motors, batteries, software and aerodynamics. Joby Aviation collaborated with NASA on several projects, such as the LeapTech and X-57 Maxwell programs, which aim to demonstrate the feasibility and benefits of electric propulsion for aircraft. Joby Aviation also participated in various competitions and challenges, such as the Go Fly Prize and the Boeing Personal Air Vehicle Challenge. The prototype of Joby Aviation's eVTOL aircraft was first revealed in 2020 after more than a decade of secretive development. The aircraft has a sleek design with six tilting propellers that allow it to take off and land vertically like a helicopter, but also transition to forward flight like a plane. The aircraft can carry four passengers and a pilot and has a range of 150 miles and a speed of 200 miles per hour. The aircraft is powered by lithium-ion batteries and has a low noise signature. The funding of Joby Aviation has been supported by various investors and partners such as Toyota Motor Corporation, Intel Capital, JetBlue Technology Ventures, Uber Elevate, Sparks Group, Bailey Gifford, Fidelity Management and Research Company, and reInvent Technology Partners. As of 2021, Joby Aviation has raised over $800 million in funding and has a valuation of $6.6 .6 billion. In 2021, Joby Aviation announced its plans to go public through a merger with reInvent Technology Partners, a special purpose acquisition company, SPAC. And the certification of Joby Aviation's eVTOL aircraft is underway with the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, which has granted it a special airworthiness certificate in the experimental category. Joby Aviation is also working with the US Air Force under its Agility Prime program, which aims to accelerate the adoption of eVTOL technology for military and civilian applications. Joby Aviation expects to receive full certification from the FAA by 2023. And the service of Joby Aviation's eVTOL aircraft is planned to launch in 2024 as an air taxi service that will offer on-demand flights between Verti ports located in urban and suburban areas. Joby Aviation intends to own and operate its own fleet of aircraft and leverage its partnership with Uber to provide access to its customers through the Uber app. Joby Aviation claims that its service will be cheaper than driving or taking an Uber car for trips over 25 miles. So where does Toyota come into all of this? Toyota, one of the world's leading automakers, is teamed up with Joby Aviation and the collaboration aims to enable the deployment of fast, quiet and affordable air transportation services in urban areas. Toyota has invested $394 million as the lead investor in Joby's Series C financing and will share its expertise in manufacturing, quality and cost controls for the development and production of Joby Aviation's breakthrough eVTOL aircraft. Joby's design is well matched to serve the needs of an emerging air transportation market where commuters and travelers embrace the benefits of aviation on a daily basis within and between urban centers. Both companies believe that leveraging synergies with automobile technologies as well as integrating best practices from the Toyota production system will help facilitate the efficient mass production of these aircraft while also helping Joby deliver high-quality, durable and reliable aircraft and meet exacting safety standards. 
Shoby Aviation has received certification from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, allowing it to begin commercial air taxi operations with conventional aircraft. It is also seeking air certification in Japan. More details of the prototype aircraft and production plans will be announced at a later date. Shoby Aviation has also teamed up with Uber under the Uber Elevate program. Uber Elevate was launched in 2016 as an initiative to explore the potential of urban air mobility and develop a network of air taxis in cities around the world. Uber Elevate had partnered with several eVTOL manufacturers, including Joby Aviation, to provide the vehicles for its planned service. The partnership with Uber Elevate will allow both companies to combine their expertise and resources to accelerate the development and deployment of eVTOL aircraft and air transportation services. Joby Aviation will gain access to Uber's app platform, customer base, and operational experience, while Uber will benefit from Joby's technology leadership and progress in the eVTOL industry. And Toyota, one of the world's leading automakers, has also partnered with SkyDrive, a Japanese startup that's also developing a flying car called SD03. The flying car is an all-electric EV toll vehicle that can fly up to 241 kilometers, 150 miles, at a speed of 321 kilometers per hour, 200 miles per hour, with zero emissions. SkyDrive was founded in 2012 by a group of engineers who participated in a volunteer project called Cartivator, which aimed to create a flying car that could light the flame for the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. The project received financial backing from Toyota and other companies and evolved into SkyDrive Incorporated in 2018. SkyDrive has successfully conducted a public crude test flight of its SD03 prototype on August 25, 2020 at the Toyota Test Field in Toyota, Japan. The test flight lasted for about four minutes and demonstrated the vehicle's ability to take off, hover, maneuver, and land safely. SkyDrive plans to launch its flying car commercially by 2023 and hopes to offer air taxi services in urban areas. The company also aims to obtain certification from the Japanese authorities and the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration FAA for its vehicle. Toyota has been supporting SkyDrive's vision of creating a new mode of mobility that can revolutionize transportation and life. Toyota has invested in SkyDrive, shared its expertise in manufacturing and quality control, and provided access to its test field. Toyota President and CEO Hakio Toyota said, We are exploring a new flight path for our mobility through our collaboration with SkyDrive, an innovator in the eVTOL space. We believe that flying cars have the potential to be exponentially positive for the environment and future generations. And SkyDrive CEO Tomohiro Fukuzawa said, We are grateful for Toyota's support and partnership in our endeavor to create a flying car that can transform society. We are working hard to make our dream of fast, quiet, and affordable air travel a reality.